What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charm City Gamer here, back with more WD2K24 Undisputed. My rise. And after the last time with Cody basically forcing, with with uh, Miz basically forcing us to smack down and canceling our title defense with Cody, well, we're about to see what our boy Patrick Marshall is going to have to do, contend with next. <coughs> Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face? When I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship. I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox, and you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want. But you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent. And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there. No other reason at all, huh, Miss? Let's see about that. It's SmackDown's newest acquisition. Gotta give credit to SmackDown general manager The Miz for making sure the blue brand wasn't left without a champion after what happened at SummerSlam. Despite my feelings on the quality of said champion, yes, I agree. Thank you, Miz, for doing a wonderful job. Will the new champion's reign on SmackDown be short lived? Or is this the start of a long and successful journey? Owens! 
and his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 250 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Iceman, Patrick Marshall! Everything has led to this for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The stakes do not get any higher than this. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. Oh, blow to the bread basket. Owens was scouted there. On the apron. Whoa, what a landing. And he slides him back to the mat. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. Beautiful O'Connor roll for the victory. I think it's over. The champion with his shoulder up before two. He's far from finished. Rocket kick. The challenge. Just looking shaken. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Come on. Share to the gut. This is an all out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Yeah, Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. What a bad night for KO. Lost the match, then got put through a table. Good lord. <clears throat> Roman, 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 Roman. <clears throat> you need to learn to shut your mouth, Mr. Hollywood. I got this, Riggle. Don't worry about it, buddy. I got this. Now what, Miz? What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, 
unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs, out of your reach. We'll see about that, Miz. We'll see about that. Let's do this. It's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubters wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. Here comes the prize fighter, a man who always looks ready for a fight. Introducing the challenger from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! I made your name before WWE, but now has a Hall of Fame-worthy resume. He's won the Universal title. He's competed in the main event of WrestleMania, and KO still isn't done fighting. Since day one, it has been about one thing, fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away.
It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Iceman, Patrick Marshall. With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more he has to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. The reins are off, and it is on. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. DDT planet. Rocket kick. Boom. Close fist connects. Boom. Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. And KO wasn't ready for the fight he got there. Oh, with the and this match will head back to the ring. He's looking to align that ladder up perfectly. Placement is crucial. Shoulder tackle. He turns it around. display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. He's heading for higher ground. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Hey, he, he can win it here. Guys, I'll be amazed if this is where the match ends. You and me both. Sharp jab. A series of strikes to the back. That's just a beatdown. Endless bombardment from the champion. The challenger has to be rocked. with reckless abandon. That was a massive suplex. There's core strength, and then there's what we just saw. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. You never know. This could be it. Oh. Perhaps some wishful thinking going on there, Michael. The springboard attack fails to land. Trying to unhook it now. Ooh, I'm having some 
trouble getting it down. Go help him, Byron. Big offer. Oh, no, that's in the ladder. Oh, my God. This is it. Oh, my God. The snowplex off the top of the ladder. They were both sensing something big was about to happen, something that could win this match. But now what? Never forget that everything can change in just a few milliseconds. I would say so. God damn. Setting up the ladder, guys. There it is. Look at that snatch of victory here, guys. I think it's going to happen. He'll need to hurry up if he wants to grab it and get the win. Oh. The champion retains. Let's see how this spins this one. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Iceman, Patrick. It looks like he's gonna spin this now. Oh, not you. Savage, good to see you. I didn't think he'd be back in the game after Regal was here. But anyways, we beat KO three times, so now it's time to move on to something else. Hmm. I think I'll do, uh, Credibility builder or championship celebration? Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for right now, though, we are we are gonna be calling it a day. Let me check social media before we call this out here. Yeah, take it. Oh, you think I'm being disrespectful, huh, MVP? We'll see about that. Well, anyways, that'll do it for this episode of Undisputed. So, hope you enjoyed. So, till next time. You guys know what to do. If you guys enjoyed our content, please subscribe to us on YouTube at Charm City Gamer. And keep up with us on Twitter at SpiderQueenAJ for all channel updates. So, till next time, peace out, y'all.